Welcome to this week's TDD Weekly Report for November 3rd, 2012. First up, a lot of us like to do collabs within the moto vlogging and the vlogging community and because of that we often want to find some really good file sharing software. The one I've been using most of all and more than any other is Mediafire and as of 2009 they quietly raised the limits from 100 megs to 200 megabytes which makes it a little bit better still a little bit tough if you're sending high def videos which a lot of us are now we're sharing high def videos within the community when we do collabs well this July they actually introduced a package to where I actually pulled the trigger on it I actually paid for this package this is eighteen dollars per year they upped your file limits to four gigabytes which I think is a pretty good deal, especially since I've been using them since 2007 in their free package of 200 megabyte uploads and 50 gigabytes of storage. I think it's been pretty good and it's worked really well for me. But just once in a while, I would like a little better file limit. And now for $18 a year, you can get 250 gigabytes of storage and a 4 gigabyte file limit, which I think is very good for the money. So not just uh, as a thank you for them doing it, but just to help support a piece of software that's done more than what I wanted for free for a long time. I pulled the trigger, I paid the 18 bucks, and now I uh, have a 4 gigabyte up limit which will be really good when I'm doing collabs. A 10 minute high def video should be no problem whatsoever. So if you get a chance or if you have an idea of better software that you use for file sharing, um, I call it combination file sharing and file storage software. If you have something that works better for you, my main concern with the Mediafire is I've been using it because it's not just me that I have to be concerned about the person you're sending the files to sometimes is not as computer savvy as you are so I want it on their end when they receive the way to download the file I want it to be as easy as possible and so far with even trying other competing methods of doing it Mediafire has always seemed to work best for my friends and family members that don't have the kind of computer experience I do to be able to get the file easily so leave anything in the comments, any suggestions that you have, any alternatives you have that you like to use. Leave it down in the comments below. As usual, all the links to everything I'm talking about will also be down in the description below. If you're a user of Facebook, now I'm a user of Facebook myself, but it's not one of my prime sites, so this is not a huge concern to me. But the hacker group called Anonymous have threatened on Monday to take Facebook down because of the fact that they're connected with Zynga the gaming platform that's on Facebook and evidently Zynga is going to lay off 1,000 employees even though they have a billion dollars cash profits in the bank and the Hackers Anonymous decided they didn't like that too much and they're threatening to actually take down Facebook um, I don't really know based on past experience of what they've done they they may disrupt Facebook somewhat I don't know if they'll actually take it down or not but just to let anybody know if there's anything that exists on Facebook you're probably uh, if they do succeed you're limited in time to get off of Facebook what you want to get off of Facebook so if you have some pictures that that's the only place they exist um, probably as soon as possible download them and make sure you have a copy on your computer just in case um, even best case scenario they may end up being able to disrupt things in certain parts of the country for a period of time so we'll see what comes of that this is from independent.co.uk it was also reported a few other places too although it's not really for some reason they didn't really I guess to, to avoid panic they really didn't promote this a lot but there were a few sites that um, reported on uh, the hacker group anonymous doing the Facebook thing next up I've talked about when we're going to look into developing electric cars we still need a couple of breakthroughs both in the battery technology and in the um, electric motor technology we have to make the motors a little bit more efficient and we have to make the batteries a little bit more efficient before it's really going to be cost effective well two engineer scientists at Rice University and I'll get the names here Sabani Lisa Biswal and Madhuri Thakur two scientists have been working on silicone they've been working on porous silicone for use for the anodes if you know how lithium ion batteries work typically the anode used right now is carbon and then they add lithium ions to the carbon well the problem with use, with adding lithium ions to silicone has been that the silicone actually expands when the lithium ions are added so they have to do something to try to um, 
get around that effect of the, the lithium ions being added to the silicone itself and also having enough surface area. So what they decided to do, instead of just making porous silicone wafers, to make the porous silicone wafers and then to crush them into silicone particles. Well, typically, silicone particles themselves still don't have a lot of surface area. It's like 0.7 something square meters per gram. Well, now with their new technique, I believe it's up to around 46. Let me see on the article here if I can see it. Uh, yeah, 46 square meters per gram of the crushed porous particles of silicone. They said they've actually tested around 600 cycles of full charge to 1,000 milliamps of charge and discharge. So they've gone through 600 cycles of charge and two-hour discharge. So that's pretty much the, the area you want to hit on if you want a battery to really be practical. Um, if you read the article, uh, right now what they're doing is they're going to work on seeing if it can put into the manufacturing process rather easy. They guess that it can because it's in powdered form, but it also has to, when it's in practical battery form, still be able to do as well uh, as it does in the test form of being able to hold charge for 600 cycles and be pretty much at full capacity. Every battery reaches a certain point to where it just will not charge and discharge as well as it did when it was brand new. And if it can last enough cycles, this may be something that actually doubles the range, they say, in a lot of electric cars with the amount of charge it'll be able to hold. So this is looking pretty good. If this actually comes about, then we're going to be pretty close on the battery technology and maybe just waiting for a couple of breakthroughs on the motor technology. And then we will have some pretty good practical electric cars. You have to realize with the electric car, you always have the problem of the battery has a certain amount of life le left in it, too. And if you get a $10,000 battery and it lasts for 50,000 miles in the car before you have to replace the battery, you're still talking pretty much about equivalent to the cost of what the gas would have cost you for that many miles anyway. So once you get down below the $10,000 price tag of replacing the batteries after 50,000 miles or get $10,000 batteries that will last you past 50,000 miles, then you're talking about cost effectiveness for electric vehicles. Because it doesn't do you any good to say, well, I pass up all the gas pumps and everything driving my electric vehicle for three or four years. And then when you get the cost of replacing the batteries and you pay back everything that you saved in gasoline, uh, that's not going to work for most people. Okay, on to shameless promos. And I want to tell everybody, if you have a spoof of the TDD report, which I'm going to promote here, please let me know. I will be more than happy to promote it on the show. Navy Thomas made a spoof video of the TDD report. It was very good, very funny. I enjoyed it a lot. There will be a link below or just go to his channel, Navy Thomas 8 on YouTube, and check out his spoof of the TDD report. Um, I also have a ghost writer that is going to volunteer for the time being to add additional material, additional links. Um, a lot of stuff I, maybe I didn't get around to talking about the TDD report and maybe a little bit of expanding on some articles. I've got a ghost writer and a link to that where it's going to be posted that's going to do some work on. They didn't want to get any credit for it. They just wanted to be called my ghost writer. So if there's interest, it will probably continue. If you want to click on the link and get a little bit more uh, info on science and technology and stuff to do with the TDD report, um, please click on the link. If, it's, if there's interest generated, it'll keep on going. If there's little or no interest, it'll probably be discontinued at some point. And a shameless promo for a friend of mine that's got a business. And the same for you guys. If, if you have a business yourself where you either make something or perform a service that would be of interest to the motor vlogging or the vlogging community, please let me know. I'll have no problem promoting it whatsoever. Um, commercial businesses or a business you like, probably not so much. But if it's something personally that you do yourself, whether it's a service or a product, let me know. I have no problem with keeping the money and keeping the business in the moto vlogging and the vlogging community. So my buddy Stitch Shifter asked me again to do a promo for his business. It's all kinds of sewing and upholstery and materials like that. Um, from motorcycle seats, which he did to me, to boat seat covers, sports car. I mean, probably if you have anything that ha it's, it's difficult to do in canvas or leather, um, give him a call and see what he can do for you. He usually does it for a better price than anybody else can do. So if you can also keep the money in the community and save money, what better to do than uh, hire one of our own? So if you want to contact him, it's 941-232-8341 and ask for either Jake is his nickname or Bruce. And 
tell him what you want, describe what you want, and I think you'll make a good effort to do it, and it's good quality. I've seen it myself, and I like the quality. So anyway, that's about it for this week, everybody. Take care. I will catch you next week.